we have our eye on your money because let's face it, we are all looking for ways to stretch our dollar more. Got to be creative these days, that's for sure. And for some, that means growing their own produce. So how would you get started? CBC News Miami's Joan Murray has some suggestions for you. I just wanted to show you today where we're at with the with the herbs that we're looking at. William Rockefeller never grew anything until he arrived two months ago at the University of Florida Research and Education Center in Davie. Here are the buds right here. With the help of Dr. Kimberly Moore, a professor and researcher, the Army veteran is learning and practicing hydroponics, plants grown in a water-based solution, rich in nutrients, no soil required. All right, let's do a taste test. Oh. We're going to take the right. lead. Pick your favorite one. Yeah, for sure. Hydroponics, there's no weeds, okay? So I'm also recirculating. So all the nutrient solution that comes up gets recirculated or I'm adding more solution to my bucket. So uh, none of this is going out into the environment. So any fertilizer or anything I put on stays within a closed system. Through the hydroponics system, I can either put it on my patio or I can actually keep it in the house underneath the grow lights. William is part of a national trend, people growing their own greens to save some green at the grocery store. The National Gardening Association said last year, 43 percent, almost half of Americans, were growing their own food, spending about five hours a week on home growing. We'll get to the point where these start to flower again and we'll try it one more time. William says just on lettuce and herbs, he's saving about $20 a week. The water's obviously free, the sunlight's obviously free, um, so we're looking at a nutrient-based solution and seeds. If digging in the soil is your preference, you can find many community gardens all over South Florida. I see all the bananas in the back. Jamie Castoro runs Fruitful Field in Deerfield Beach. For a few dollars a year, you can plant seeds in your own space and grow vegetables. It builds a sense of community. It helps people with their food bills. Uh, to get your hands in the dirt is, is, a, is a beautiful thing, and so it makes, it makes people happy. They provide soil and watering, even keep bees for pollination. Recently, over 140 fruit trees were donated. Fruitful Field gives fruits and vegetables to local pantries. We probably provide about 8,000 meals a year with the produce that we, we grow and distribute. It's a big reason Dab DaCosta began gardening here nearly 20 years ago. She hardly spends any money on fruits and vegetables at the grocery store. Even the taste in the food was so much better. Yeah, soft. You could do your steaming or you could saute, and it was just perfect. It's planning time, and if all goes as planned, a lot of what you see here will be ready in time for Thanksgiving. For some families, all they'll have to buy is a turkey. In Deerfield Beach, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami. Joan, thank you. And we know prices are high, and you are looking to stretch every dollar. Tell us how you are doing it. And if you'd like to share that story with us, email us at newstips at cbsmiami.com. Be sure to include your best contact information because we may reach out to you about your story.